Good morning on a beautiful day 147 of big wave training. The sun is freaking back, but the water is disgusting. So I'm debating whether or not I'm going to surf. I got home pretty early this morning. I just drove back from LA at like 4.30 and edited and have just done a couple random odd things around the house trying to get ready because I think I'm going to Mavs tomorrow, but that means I need to fix my van and insure it and make sure I have enough money to cover all that which I don't know if I do. So I'm hoping one of my boards sells today <laughs> or something. Yeah, I think I'll go down to O-Side, try and get my van going again so I can get out of my mom's driveway. And then, yeah, I'm here at Sir Coffee. I'm gonna send some emails. I gotta send a pitch today to a potential sponsor, which is gonna be pretty epic. Let's hope that they like it and that they wanna sign me. Let's freaking, let's get started. I am now in Oceanside. I worked for a while, sent a couple pitches, and saw a friend, talked to her for a while. It was nice, like, just to catch up and freaking try and convince them to make videos like me. <laughs> and fellow big wave charger. And, yeah, I saw that chemistry was working on my board, my 10-7. And I wanted to go see it. And then I'm going to try and put this part in my van so that tomorrow I can get it insured and ready to go. So I can go up to Mavericks for Thursday and maybe over the weekend. Here we are. Let's go see how she looks. Wow, holy sh this thing is way bigger than I thought. Oh, that's the biggest board. Oh, no. Yeah. Some of them he's been requesting triple six bottom, triple six depth. Oh, that's gnarly. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is sick because it, uh, it has the rails that I wanted. There you go. What's your name? Tanner. Tanner. Nice to meet you, Ringo. I uh, do, some, I do some glassing for Dave Barr. Oh, sick. And um, we're, we're, we're glassing Ninja's there, so okay. he does a lot of guns. Yeah. Dude, that board is sick. Oh my gosh. Board looks unreal, and I'm super excited to ride that. I'm hoping to have that by the time I get back from Mavericks, which is a pretty good goal. And I just got to my mom's. Freak. Yeah. I just got to my mom's and I'm gonna work on this old girl. Hey there. See if I can fix the coolant leak issue so that I can take it with me tomorrow. I'm gonna have to pull the battery out and then pull the this old coolant reservoir out of here and we should be good to go. And we'll place, place it with, with this one. The old and the new is gonna be crazy. If you don't have a Harbor Freight toolkit, what are you doing? <laughs> Let me show you something. I think I figured out why it was leaking. Uh, for one, this is what's left of a tab that was on the, the old one, which is over here now. Look at how hammered that thing is. And then these were on here and they just came off. So I was wondering why it was leaking. That's probably why it was leaking. And then look at this. This is what it should look like. <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's kind of a sigh of relief. Like the coolant was green. There's no other coloring in it, which is something I was worried about. There's like a smidge of blow by on this thing right now. So yeah, it gets me stoked. Like, gosh, let's go. This is the new one and hopefully it fits and all of the attachments go on as they should, which I have good faith. So she's in and I put some water in it. I don't have any coolant, but there's plenty of coolant in there. So that should be totally fine. And I am, just now realizing that the battery housing is busted. Like there's supposed to be a little ear right here. So that's why it was super loose. So I guess I can't take it off any sweet jumps until I fix that, but we should be good to go. Ready to go. Tomorrow we ride. Going to NorCal. Got a special surprise. I think I'm gonna do a triple threat up in uh, the NorCal on this trip. Part. I think I'm probably getting to partner with a mountain, which I'm freaking pretty stoked on. Let's go get ready. I gotta go edit, see what else I can do. It's been an interesting day. I feel like I haven't done much. I just was super anxious all day. I didn't sleep super well last night. But thankfully, oh, I can't believe how excited I am for this. It is a gorgeous afternoon and going for a run. Just gonna cruise today, soak it in. I think I'm gonna go up north tomorrow. I think it'd be good. I'm kind of risking it financially, but 
I think it'll pay off. And if I get to do the surf skate snow thing, that would be crazy. Hang out with Brendan and Tahoe too. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Oh, it feels so good to be back. Look at this. I just passed the halfway point. I'm feeling really good. I was super tired. I slept like four hours last night. Look at how nice it is. The waves actually look fun, but I'm glad I didn't surf because there is lots of grossness in the water from all this rain. But it's gorgeous right now for sure. I mean, look at this. Okay, time to start moving again. The dang train. Oh, he's right here. God, it's so freaking loud. Yeah, buddy. Wow, it is so nice right now. Right, I'm not waiting for this. <laughs> Had to make a quick pit stop. Do a couple rounds, eight pull-ups, 10 dips, and then go finish it off just watching the sunset. If I go swimming right now, there's so much dirt in the water, I'd get, uh, I'd get really gnarly like sinus infections, unfortunately. Dude, I just, I can't believe how beautiful this is. This is why you should go do something for yourself. Every day. Whether it be walking, running, lifting. Honestly, you just do it outside. I mean, that's where we were meant to be anyway. I wonder how this looks. I wonder how this looks. This bathroom is just gonna fall into the water one day. <laughs> it's like full sketchiness. I've made over 2,000 videos in the last couple years and this is what I would do if I had to start completely from scratch with no knowledge. You probably already know that creating content and posting on social media is one of the best ways to get more sponsors as an athlete or generate more leads for your business, but it's really confusing and you might not know where to start. Making videos, talking to camera, super scary, and it will be for a while, but you gotta do it, and the best way to start getting comfortable is to start doing little daily vlogs. Don't put pressure on yourself, just live your life, film, anything and everything a little bit here a sunset there turn around slice it up and do a voiceover once you make a couple of those you'll notice you get the hang of it and you're kind of starting to get a little bit more comfortable you don't need a script there's nothing super crazy about it the most important thing is that it keeps it simple you need to work on one variable at a time and just being able to splice up some videos and post a nice daily vlog is a great way to start you can do it right in the app on instagram or on tiktok or follow me and i'll show you exactly what app to use tomorrow my name's Tanner, I'm a professional surfer and a content creator, and the last few years I've spent just obsessing over content and creation, and it's, it's incredibly fun.